Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and to my left here, we have senior point guard of the men's basketball team, Devin Heath Granger. Devin Heath Granger is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. During that week, he had 10 points and 10 assists in the win over Mount Vernon Nazarene. And against Taylor, 21 points on 7 assists. Uh, he's averaging 12.4 points on the season, along with 6.35 and 2.14 steals. He's also most noted, he broke the single season assist record and he's currently the all time assist record here at Goshen College. Devin, congratulations on this achievement. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Um, yeah, well I'm definitely honored to be the Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. It was, um, well it was kind of an in-between week. We beat Mount Vernon, really kind of put it to him. It was kind of good to see and then Lost a tough one against Taylor on the buzzer beater, but overall I think we played two good games and getting the single season assist record was kind of cool uh, for me to kind of have that kind of going forward, but for the most part that's kind of a team, a team record. Like I can only do so much, they have to make the shot. So I kind of think that's the cool thing about having assists. Like it kind of goes both ways. If they're not making shots, then I don't really look good. So my teammates definitely made me look a lot better than I think I probably do. So. <laughs> But trust me, the teammates really appreciate that. One of the top assist leaders in the Crossroads League. So very well noted with that. So knowing that it was your senior season no, and that you were basically going to be the leader, what was your mindset going into your final season here at Goshen College? I'm um, kind of just what you just said, kind of be the leader. I kind of wanted to be like the guy everybody kind of look, looked up to on the basketball court. I feel like I have the most experience, well, the seniors do, of everybody coming back. And I kind of wanted to just to – kind of be there for the young guys and just kind of help be a role model on the court for guys, especially going forward in the future. Going into the year, I thought the success would be a little more, but then once I realized that, I kind of just wanted to kind of make sure I was there for everybody and just kind of being a leader for everybody on the court. And it shows both you know on the court and off the court a very a well-known leader for a bunch of different reasons, and a lot of the guys have agreed with that. So it's, you know, different, you know, different mindset, as I said, senior season. What did you do over the summer to get ready for uh, your senior year? Yeah, I mean, I stayed in the gym a lot. I really kind of focused on getting a lot of shots up. I got a trainer back home in Indianapolis who really worked me a lot. And then I also coached an AAU team, which really helped me with the mental side of it. I got to see the game play from a different perspective that I don't really see much. So that kind of helped me, I think, from the mental and the leadership standpoint. But on the court, I kind of did the same thing I'll, I've done in the past summer, just stay in the gym and kind of make sure I'm staying sharp with my skills and just all my kind of stay in the weight room, make sure I'm injury free and all that. So, And again, as I said, it's pretty sure it, it's shown. I mean, you've played great throughout this whole season. Definitely one, if not your most memorable season in your four years here. So at the end of the season, you know, where last game's going to be on Saturday versus Marion. How would you say that the team did or is doing right now, both in terms of the actual games, just chemistry off the court and everything. How would you say that the chemistry is within the whole team? Yeah, basically? so about two, three weeks ago, I kind of think we were kind of rock bottom as a team. We weren't really having fun. And you know that we kind of brought the team together in a meeting and just said we kind of want to have a focus on just having more fun and ending this year, no matter what happens on the court, just being kind of a brotherhood and having fun. And I think you've really seen that the past few weeks. I think especially the Mount Vernon uh, Taylor game, even though we lost the Taylor game, the over two game where a lot of people were having fun, there was a lot of energy. So that's been kind of cool for me to see that maybe the wins and losses aren't what we expected, but we're still having a lot of fun and guys are kind of making this a memorable season both on and off the court. So, Personally speaking, as another player, I know I've had loads of fun, you know, yeah. getting to watch you guys dominate on the court and more importantly, just have loads of fun by the end of the yeah, game. Definitely. So. A lot of different moments for, you know, breaking the single season record, breaking the all-time career record, maybe certain games. But of everything, what has been your favorite moment of the season so far? Um, that's tough. Probably It would probably have to be the career assist record. I mean, that's something I kind of knew going into my sophomore year, that it was something I had a chance to kind of reach. I never thought I would actually break it, but I kind of knew it was something I would like kind of be top five with. And then junior year after last year this was kind of my number one goal going in this year i even wrote it on my shoes before the year kind of to make me kind of remember what i was playing for so that was by far kind of see yourself set a goal and then finally reach it. it was pretty pretty exciting so and definitely the thing you'll be defined for once you graduate and everyone but including myself especially will remember years and years down the road so a final question that we've got 
I know it's, you know, this Saturday, again, against Marion, but what are you most looking forward to within these next few days or just in general with the idea that after Saturday, your time, your basketball career at GC will officially be over? Yeah, kind of just to make the most of it. I know it's been a long four years and kind of just a last few couple of practices, the last game, kind of just have some fun, kind of make this a memorable week, both for me and then all the other seniors. I think it's something we spend a lot of time together and just to sit back and relax and have some fun with it is something I'm looking forward to. I know Saturday will be senior night. I'll have a bunch of family there. So it's kind of deeper than the actual game itself. It's kind of just sit back and kind of make it a day to remember. So, And it will be one that a lot of people want to remember. The senior class is some one that's been very – uh, recognized and known over the last few years, so very, uh, very well done, and it should be very exciting. Uh, Devin, with that, any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you have? No, just thank you guys for having me. It's been a pleasure, and looking forward to Saturday. So I know personally myself, I really appreciate right. it. Dev, thank, thank you so you. much for the time, and appreciate that. Thank I'm Tanner you. Camp with Devin Heath Granger here on 574 Sports. Man, it feels really good. I never thought I was going to be able to play volleyball again after I graduated high school. And I never thought that Goshen would ever have a volleyball team. So it feels really good to be able to play. That would be my last year to play a competitive sport and to be able to play the sport I like. It's definitely an experience. Um, just knowing that this is like the very first year that's ever happened is definitely a special, like special feeling to me. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah, well, it's, it's crazy because in Puerto Rico, everyone plays volleyball. And I played right side, so it's been really crazy to adjust to be a setter and then play the game here that's a little bit different and even the language I've been I've been having to learn how to play volleyball in English which is maybe a little weird but it's true. Um, overall there's just like I don't know because so most, most of them are walk-ons so it's just a good feeling knowing that they've had uh, experience in the past and just that the recruits are able to help them improve their game just a little bit each and every day. I think it's awesome I think he's like the person that's created the the team so like I yeah I'm really excited that he's our coach he's done a really good job with people that are coming in with the people that have played before he's done a really good job of coaching them and having them adjust our game uh, and honestly I'm just happy that he pushed over to have us have him in. Um, he really just loves the game of volleyball and he helps try and create and improve it each and every day and you know it's it's good to know that he actually cares about his players other than just about winning so it's a good feeling. I think honestly, I've heard that there's a bunch of Puerto Rican players playing in other teams and some that I know, so I'm really excited to be able to play with them. I guess just spreading it around campus because just like getting the support around, especially with our uh, scrimmage against Orange Stack, we had a lot of people come out. So just with the just amount of support is what I'm really looking forward to and just where the, this program is going to go.